to daybreak. It's uh, 19 minutes after 6 now. Three co-workers in Phoenix are Arizona's newest millionaires. Charlene Grantier, Darlene Howard, and Natalie Ray pulled up for work in a limousine yesterday. They picked the winning combination in Saturday night's lotto drawing. Today, the trio is almost $5 million richer. The three women say they won't quit their jobs, at least not yet, but they do plan to take off a couple of weeks to enjoy their new wealth. <laughs> Good for them. That's really neat. That's really neat. If I couldn't win, I'm glad they won. <laughs> the, right. the Phoenix Suns find themselves in the throes of their longest losing streak of the NBA season. Akeem Olajuwon scored 12 of his 30 points in the fourth quarter last night as the Houston Rockets beat the Suns 111-97 up in Phoenix. It was Phoenix's third straight loss and the Rockets' 10th consecutive victory. Charles Barkley still sidelined with a shoulder injury, but Kevin Johnson is back. He scored 18 points for the Suns, who already have clinched home court advantage throughout the playoffs. These are almost like exhibition games for them. Only one other game in the NBA. Seattle held David Robinson to three points in the first three quarters to beat the San Antonio Spurs 96-89. While the quest for the NHL Stanley Cup continued last night, Steve Eiserman collected a goal and assist as Detroit cruised past Toronto 6-3. The Red Wings broke the game open in the second period, putting four of their first five shots past Maple Leafs goalie Felix Potvin. The uh, Red Wings hold a one-game to none ad advantage in the Norris Division Best of Seven semifinal. Vancouver grabbed a one-game to nothing lead in its Smythe Division Series, knocking off Winnipeg 4-2. To baseball now, American League. Ken Griffey Jr. had two home runs and scored four times as Seattle trounced the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium 10-6. Pete O'Brien had a three-run homer and Tino Martinez added a solo shot to supplement the Mariners' offense. Eric Hansen won his second game of the year, allowing three runs in seven and two-thirds innings. Boston shut out the White Sox, John Dobson with a three-hitter, and Toronto put it to Cleveland. Only one game on the schedule in the National League, it didn't get played. Houston and the Cubs were rained out in Chicago. And the Calgary Cannons jumped on Tucson right-hander Dave Varis for five unearned runs in the first inning and rolled on to a 12-1 to win over the Toros in Canada. <laughs> This boy's life. Newsweek magazine calls it moving, smart, and made with passion. De Niro at his best. Here I am, lucky people. Extraordinary, a haunting and beautifully made film. Acutely intelligent. Bargain is marvelous. A powerful 10. One movie that will reach your heart. That's what I like to hear. This boy's life. Rated R. Starts Friday, April 23rd at a theater near you. Naturally Women Fitness Centers is Tucson's only premier women's fitness facility. Call today and enroll for only six months on your initial visit and get one month free. Start to define your body for the summer today. Enjoy cardiovascular activities like aerobics, stair climbing, or treadmills. Or try Naturally Women's muscle toning equipment designed especially for women. So call Naturally Women, Tucson's only all-women's fitness facility, today. Enroll for six months, get one month free. Tucson families have come to trust and rely on the many services provided by Evergreen Mortuary, Cemetery, and Crematory, the only locally owned facility of its kind. The comfortable surroundings include a chapel, full mortuary facilities, and beautifully landscaped cemetery property, all at one location. Call Evergreen's counselors. They'll assist you with any questions. Ask about Evergreen's pre-planning and how you can freeze costs at today's prices. Evergreen Mortuary, Cemetery, and Crematory, giving you the peace of mind you deserve. Get ready for rock solid savings. The huge 50% inventory reduction sale at your Southern Arizona Chevy Geo dealers. Hundreds of new cars and trucks must be sold quickly. Economical Geo Metros as low as $66.95 or get low 5.9 financing. Exciting Geo Storms now come with $1,500 cash back or rock bottom 2.9% financing. Don't miss this sale. 50% reduction only at your Southern Arizona Chevrolet Geo dealers. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. Up and at them this morning, 23 minutes after 6. Here's a look at what's topping news around the world today. A tough decision for President Clinton. He must decide how to handle the increasingly dangerous situation in Bosnia. More and more lawmakers are now suggesting the U.S. use force to help settle the conflict. Republicans and Democrats will meet separately today to discuss the president's jobs bill. 
Democrats claim the measure would help create jobs and boost the economy, but Republicans contend we cannot afford a $12 billion jobs bill. More than a dozen co drug companies are hoping power in numbers will help stamp out AIDS. Fifteen drug companies are getting together to test combination drugs to help fight AIDS. Some of those companies include Bristol-Myers, Syntex, and DuPont. In today's health report, a common creepy crawler here in the Southwest may pose more of a serious health problem than you even thought. Dr. Dina Dell tells us, watch out for cockroaches this summer. Cockroaches make just about everybody's skin crawl. Their looks aren't anything to write home about. And their personal habits? Well, let me tell you exactly how the researchers describe them. They march from the garbage disposal to the sewer to the toilet to mom's apple pie. And on that march, they're carrying more germs than you can imagine. 14 million bacteria on their little bodies. And they leave behind 7 million in each drop of droppings. Are we talking disgusting? Absolutely. But. Do roaches really pose a serious health threat? Believe it or not, researchers combing the vast medical literature have been able to come up with only one example of human illness that might, and I emphasize might, have been caused by cockroaches. And that was in a Belgian hospital nursery over 40 years ago. Now the evidence may be a little flimsy, but plenty of researchers are cautioning us not to turn our backs on these creepy crawlers. Studies of cockroaches found in public housing reveal the pests carried 30 different species of bacteria. Most of those germs can cause serious illnesses, from intestinal infections like E. coli, salmonella and shigella, to skin abscesses, hepatitis, and even urinary tract infections. So while there's not a lot of hard evidence linking the cockroach to specific outbreaks of disease, many public health officials still insist the bugs pose a potentially serious threat. So if you want to keep a lid on these critters, clean up your act. And if you happen to spot a few of them getting a little too close for comfort, call in the experts. I'm Dr. Dina Dell. Thanks, Doc. Really appreciate that. <laughs> I think I'll keep my distance. Get back to your <laughs> breakfast now. <laughs> In Tucson right now, 49 degrees. Yeah. 49 has been the morning low. Humidity is 40%. Dew point temperature is 26 degrees. Winds right now from the southeast at 6. And the barometer is 30.01 and rising high in Tucson yesterday was 85 degrees. He's right, my skin is crawling. Thunder showers, especially through Texas and Oklahoma yesterday, they had from golf ball size to baseball size hail in parts of Oklahoma. Very heavy thunder showers in the eastern part of Texas. Dallas Fort Worth reported wind gusts up to 67 miles per hour. Still some thunder showers from east of Dallas Fort Worth over to looks like around Shreveport, Louisiana, up through the Ohio Valley and scattered rain showers across the upper Midwest. They'll get thunder shower activity through the Midwest today and starting to move into the northeastern part of the country. A couple of tornadoes touched down in Marshall, Arkansas, and also in uh, Redbud, Illinois. Uh, nobody injured by these twisters yesterday. Rochester, Minnesota picked up about two inches of snow. Parts of southeastern Minnesota had anywhere from two to four inches of the white stuff. And they're expecting a little snow up, uh, up around uh, the Colorado Rockies. Uh, Denver expecting a mixture of rain and snow today. Green Bay, Wisconsin expecting snow. So some nasty weather still out there. This is going to stay well to the north of Arizona. We're still under the dominance of high pressure. We'll see a few high and mid-level clouds up in the northern part of the state today, but sunny elsewhere. 40s and 50s for the most part for the upper Midwest and the Plain States today for high down here in the uh, southern part of the United States, 60s, 70s, and 80s. A little breezy at times for Arizona, but otherwise, nice sunny skies today. Sunny in New Mexico and California as well. Temperatures in Southern California, low to mid 80s for the most part. Uh, temperatures here in Arizona, mostly in the 80s down here in the southeastern corner. We'll push 90 here, and if we don't make it today, in other words, if we push today, then we are going to be looking at a high tomorrow of right around 94 degrees here in Tucson. But 89 today, 56 for a low tonight. And then tomorrow we're looking for 94 for a high, 91 on Thursday. And then cooler as we head into the weekend on Friday and Saturday. You said more snow for Colorado today. For mm -hmm. those of you who used to live in Colorado, we have some pictures of what they had on the ground yesterday, half foot of snow. This is Denver, huh? This is the Denver area, yeah. Summit County, Colorado. Can you imagine this? This was yesterday, and here we are. This time of the year, that's degrees. the kind of snow you get. It's the wet, heavy stuff as temperatures are pretty close to freezing. And so it's not the light, uh, just kind of stuff that blows it's not around. The fun it's heavy, stuff, wet stuff. Yeah. Oh, I cannot imagine slushy. getting out the uh, blowers and the snow shovels and all that at this time of the year. Well, it's got to be about over, huh? But Denver expecting a mixture of rain and snow today. That's even worse. Oh, that is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> time now, 28 minutes after 6 o'clock. Still ahead in the second half of our show for you today, a city court clerk faces a penalty 
for allegedly stealing penalty fines that he collected. We'll also have local reaction to that tragedy near Waco, Texas from a former Branch Davidian cult member, so stay with us. Join us at American for our 57th anniversary with great buys and our lowest prices every day. At American, find one of the largest selections of quality upholstered furniture in the state, featuring a broad range of styles from Century, Bernhard, Broyhill, and Lee. Our 93-inch contemporary style sofa in teal and cream stripe has reversible seat cushions and comfortable multi-cushion back. Valued at $645, pay just $429 every day. Great anniversary values plus quick, easy financing. Shop American Home Furnishings. When you display that special poster, photo, or painting in a stock frame, you'll save as much as 30% over custom framing. Choose from hundreds of stock frames at Arizona Picture and Frame Gallery. Why do so many people choose Dunkin' Donuts coffee? We use our own special blend of the world's finest coffee beans. They don't. We grind our coffee seconds before brewing. They don't. We brew our coffee fresh day and night. They, well, who knows? Dunkin' Donuts, the freshest cup of coffee you can buy. Now at Dunkin' Donuts, buy a large coffee and get this donut free. Or 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 this donut free. Think of waking up with energy. Standing tall and feeling free. Think first, chiropractic. Good health is to enjoy. The doctors of First Chiropractic are experts in treating auto and on-the-job injuries, back and neck problems, headaches, and pinched nerves. We offer health care for the entire family, and most insurances cover the cost of care at a First Chiropractic office. First Chiropractic, good health is to enjoy. Just ahead on Daybreak for you, a local high school student is recovering from a gunshot wound this morning. The victim of another drive-by shooting in Tucson. The Indian gaming dispute appears to be nearing a compromise. A tribal leader and education advocate has died. Those stories plus a look at today's weather and sports coming up in the second half hour of Eyewitness News Daybreak. Hello there, welcome back to the second half of our show on this Tuesday morning. Today is the 20th of April, time now 6.31. I'm Kathy Ryan. And I'm Jimmy Stewart. We currently have 49 degrees in Tucson. That's been our morning low so far. Our humidity is 40%. We're looking for a nice day weather-wise in Tucson today, looking for sunshine and pushing 90 for a high today, right around 89 degrees. More on the weather coming up in just a few minutes. That's some sad news for you this morning. Yeah. The chairman of the Ta'ana Adam Indian tribe has lost his battle against colon cancer. Josiah Moore died at a Phoenix hospital last night. Moore became the tribe's chairman for the second time nearly two years ago. He first held the post from 1983 until 1987. Moore also served as the director of the Indian Education Unit for the state's education department, and he was an English professor at Arizona State University. Most recently, he fought for Indian gaming rights. Moore said his tribe was ready to move out of poverty and that gaming provided a way out. Moore is sur survived by his wife, a son, and two daughters. He was 58 years old. An agreement in the Indian gaming dispute may be surfacing. The Arizona Republic newspaper reports Indian tribes and the state may be close to a compromise agreement. They're arguing over the number of gaming machines tribes can operate on the reservations. A quick settlement for the county's second largest law firm. It's involved in a spin-off lawsuit of Charles Keating's banking scam. Jones Day, Rebus, and Pogue has agreed to pay a settlement of $51 million. The Resolution Trust Corporation accused the firm of malpractice. The lawsuit alleged members knew about Keating's scam to loot Lincoln Savings and Loan and didn't report it. More violence on a Tucson high school campus and another teenager falls victim to gunfire. Police say last night 17-year-old Richard Lopez was shot in the leg while standing outside a classroom at Amphi High School. Lopez was apparently with his girlfriend when another couple drove by in a car. That's when an argument broke out and the man in the car shot Lopez. Police are investigating. They say they don't think the shooting was gang related. Lopez is recovering this morning. So far, no arrests in the case. Tucson police have arrested a city court clerk accused of pocketing court fines. 27-year-old Thomas Gilliam was arrested on Friday after an undercover officer wrote himself a bogus ticket, then paid the fine to Gilliam in cash. 
Well, later the payment didn't show up on computer records. Gilliam was carrying $700 cash when he was arrested. He is charged with computer fraud and tampering with public records. A grim task for FBI agents in Waco, Texas today. They're searching for the remains of 86 people. 17 of those are children, all believed dead after yesterday's final move in a 51-day standoff. Now, what used to be a religious haven for David Koresh and his Branch Davidians is now a pile of ashes. The standoff ended yesterday in a ball of fire. Most of us saw it on TV, but one man here in Arizona watched those pictures from a different perspective. William Cox says he was one of the original members of the Branch Davidians. Cox used his knowledge of the compound to help FBI agents during the standoff, but he never really believed that it would end peacefully. I said that the first time we talked, and I believe it to this day, that there was going to be a mass destruction. I have always believed it. I could not imagine him just giving up, not without some way to get something out of it. Cox says he thinks Koresh decided to take all of his followers with him to hell. We have 25 minutes before 7 o'clock. Let's take a look at the weather once again. We'll take a look at some hometowns We're this morning. We're dangerously too. close to 90 degrees, aren't we? Yeah, well, <laughs> 90 is not the key. Flirting. 100 is the big one that That's we don't want to hit, which we know we will soon. But uh, 90 we can live with. <laughs> I can live with 100. It's 105 to 110 where I get a little easy. <laughs> yeah, not right much now, of a difference. Right now in Tucson, it is 49 <laughs> degrees, and uh, humidity is 40%. Let's give you the other numbers right here. Dew point temperature is 26 degrees. Winds right now from the southeast at 6, and the Barometer is 30.01 and rising. High in Tucson yesterday, 85 degrees, and the morning low this morning so far has been 49 degrees. Biggest thunder showers in Texas and Oklahoma yesterday, although they did spread up into the uh, midwestern part of the country. As you can see, a cold front. You can just follow that cold front. I'll run this by you one more time. You can see the cold front right here. Now moving into the eastern part of Kentucky and Tennessee, they'll get some thunder shower activity up in the uh, northeastern part of the country today as well. Probably as north as uh, New York, not just rain showers, but thunder shower activity as that cold front runs through there. You can see those clouds just kind of explode along the cold front right here, and it's still moving off in this direction. And as we get some daytime heating in that part of the country today, it'll become more effective as far as giving thunder shower activities. Some light rain along the Pacific Northwest coast today, some rain mixed with snow in Denver, not a pretty day there today, and some snow in the upper Midwest, uh, way up in the northern part of the United States, and thunder shower activity all the way up into Michigan and New York today, and along this cold front, right running all the way down to New Orleans. Hometowns, Portland, Oregon, will be looking at cloudy skies today, maybe a shower or two in 68 degrees. If your hometown is Green Bay, it's still wintertime there. 43 for a high today, 29 tonight. They're going to get some snow activity there. And Philadelphia, if, uh, the city of brotherly love is your hometown, it's going to hit 76. Seems to be a good number for Philadelphia, doesn't it? And partly cloudy skies. Look at sunny skies across Arizona, a little breezy at times. Otherwise, a pretty day for all of us. Our forecast for Tucson, mostly sunny skies, a little warmer today, up to 89 degrees after 85 yesterday. Then fair and mild tonight with a low of 56, even warmer tomorrow. We're looking for a high tomorrow of 94 degrees. So if we don't hit 90 today, tomorrow looks like a good bet. 100 may still be a little while off, but probably not that long. Send a postcard, or if you use an envelope, just seal it before you write anything on it. Put your uh, ad the address right here on the front of it. Then your name, address, and phone number on the back, along with the day, hour, and minute you think it'll hit 100 here in Tucson. If you're the winner, a Holland American Caribbean cruise for two is in your future from Bon Voyage Travel. If you come in second, a couple of round trip airline to, uh, tickets to any destination in the continental United States. So nice prizes this year. Uh, make sure you get your entry in right away because a lot of times the winner, we have ties for it. And yes, then earliest postmark is what wins. Good idea. Coming up on 22 minutes before the hour now. Just ahead for you this morning, a local school district enters the controversy over a regional landfill. And a county supervisor looks for money to promote his own policies. We'll tell you about that right after this. She looks like a lawyer to me. A doctor. Or maybe a ballerina. Hmm. I could take a second job or sell blood. Maybe if I never spend more than a buck for lunch. I, let's see, six diapers a day times 89 cents. 
I looked in the mirror and I just went, oh my gosh, I look like a different person. I was huge. I went to Jenny Craig because I needed someone to help me the whole way through. I had a lot of bad habits. Deborah helped me change them one at a time, and I could call her any time I needed her. I got the help, and I want to just, you know, tell people, you don't be afraid to reach out and get that help. Call us right now and lose all you want for just a $79 program fee. $79. Call. You'll be glad you did. Wilfred Brimley for new Quaker toasted oatmeal. Potatoes, cornmeal, what's this? Quaker toasted oatmeal? Yep. It's a new one on me. Excuse me, sir, could you show us the Quaker toasted oatmeal? Over here with the cold cereals. Can't be. There you go. Oatmeal that's cold and crunchy. Tastes terrific. New Quaker toasted oatmeal, original or honey nut. There's grains of real Quaker oatmeal on every oatmeal flake. Quaker toasted oatmeal, huh? Yep. It's my other oatmeal. Get ready for rock-solid savings. The huge 50% inventory reduction sale at your Southern Arizona Chevy Geo dealers. Hundreds of new cars and trucks must be sold quickly. Choose from hundreds of new Chevy S10 Tahoes and save over $3,000. These trucks are loaded with a V6 engine, sliding rear window, AM FM cassette, plus much more. Don't miss this sale. 50% reduction only at your Southern Arizona Chevrolet Geo dealers. Good morning and time check now. It's 20 minutes before 7 o'clock. Welcome back to Daybreak. The Tucson City Council is giving its blessing to a proposed new prison, but not everyone is happy about it. Council members voted 5 to 2 yesterday to support a privately funded federal prison. The project could mean 300 jobs and $10 million for the local economy, but Councilman Bruce Wheeler says Tucson doesn't need another prison. State officials must still decide where to build that facility. Council members also looked into the beef over the regional landfill. They voted that the project should not be privately run. They also ordered city staff to look into alternate landfill sites. Now, the Sunnyside School District is also getting involved in this controversy. Attorneys for the district sent a letter condemning county plans to put the landfill in their district. The letter claims that the county doesn't have the authority to buy options on land. Supervisor Ed Moore says the letter is incorrect and he plans to meet with Sunnyside District officials later today. Actions by Ed Moore and the other Republican County supervisors have upset Democratic Supervisor Raul Grijalva. Now he's raising money to try to do something about it. Grijalva is trying to raise $15,000. He says he'll use the money to publish a monthly newsletter called Board Watch and to hire consultants to draft alternative policies on the landfill, county budget, health care, and other issues. It's apparent that I'm not included in the day-to-day -day decision making of, of Pima County, and I'm in, I've been in the position for the last hundred days of having to react to things after I find ab out about them either through you, the press, or through a memo that comes at the last minute. And I think I'm going to need the capability not only just to react, but to t start to present to this board some different alternatives in terms of the direction they're going, and that's what that money's going to be used for. Grijalva says he can't trust the information that comes from county administration. He says it's directed by Ed Moore. Time now, 18 minutes before the hour. After a big week last week, the stock market took some profits yesterday. Maybe Doug Mance will bring us some of those profits. What do you think? <laughs> He's up next with today's opening numbers from Wall Street, so stay with us. Valleys is muscling into the neighborhood. We've built one of the most advanced health clubs you'll ever see. Right in Tucson, you'll find everything you need for a total body workout. Like life cycles and life step exercise systems, aerobics classes, an indoor lap pool, and more. To celebrate the grand opening of our new club, we're offering 50% off a Passport membership. So join the new Valleys U.S. Swim and Fitness in Tucson. Call 1-800-WORKOUT and muscle into Valleys now. House and Garden presents Tucson, the new classic outdoor patio furniture made exclusively by Woodard for House and Garden. The store with the zigzag roof, the one and only House and Garden, Broadway at Columbus. Welcome to the new Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers is not a diet, it's a way of life. This is a picture of me before I joined. <laughs> this is you? This is great. 
Get ready for summer. Join for only $15. That's half price. Call 290-9808. That's 290-9808. If I can do it, you can do it. Now you can get a two-year lease on an Accord LX sedan for $239 a month with just $1,000 down. See your nearest dealer. You'll have all the facts. Time now to take a look at the market. It's been open for a little better than 14 minutes right now. Doug Mance joins us now. We, uh, as, as we saw yesterday when we opened up, we did have some profit takers after a big week. Mm -hmm. Profit takers actually did show up yesterday very early on Wall Street after last week's 82-point rise in the Dow. The market immediately dropped off 20 points at the opening, but by the closing bell, it retraced itself a little bit and trimmed its loss to only down 11 points at the close. After these record-breaking numbers last week, uh, also the transportation and utility sectors retreated as well. Those sectors had five consecutive all-time highs, both of them each and every day. Let's take a look at how we're opening this morning on Wall Street. The Dow continues to slip a bit, down over seven points this morning already. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average now at 3459.7. Volume there, uh, 7.4 million shares, about uh, eight or nine minutes into the session. NASDAQ just treading water, up just a fraction to 663 on that index. The, uh, the long bond, the 30-year bond, is, uh, is down 10, 30 seconds, uh, but it was up. It was pretty strong yesterday. It, uh, it actually, uh, in the face of a weak stock market, was strong yesterday and, and hit that uh, record low yield of 6.72 before coming back up again this morning. The yield on a 30-year Treasury is still low at 6.74%. Uh, I said a little while ago the market had been open 14 and a half minutes. Do they open exactly on time? They do. Or, or is it like a concert? No. <laughs> no, no. There, there, there's actually a guy that goes up on the balcony right and on the rings second, the bell. Huh? Right, right on. Yeah, and if you are late, you miss it. I had a feeling that was. Oh it. my <laughs> gosh! Give me a break. Let's talk about housing starts. They just came in. Housing okay. starts just came in uh, about an hour ago, and and uh, March housing starts are down an unexpected 4.6 percent. Most analysts expected housing starts uh, to be down uh, only 1.2 percent, down about four times the uh, amount that uh, analysts expected. So, so what does that mean? Well, it, 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 it has a, to do with a couple of things in March. Uh, you might recall we had a, a little blizzard. Uh, yes, we didn't, we yes. didn't get affected too much, but the East Coast did. Yeah. It affected uh, uh, housing starts. Uh, when that kind of weather is mm -hmm. going on, it, 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 it damps construction. And also we had uh, some consumer confidence uh, diminishment right. uh, next uh, last month. People, people were just not as confident, even though interest rates mm -hmm. were low. People just didn't feel like closing on right. houses or right. starting houses. Okay. So uh, we'll see if it recovers at all this month. Next okay. time. Right. Thank Good. you. Thanks, All righty. Up next in our travel report for you this morning, we'll have some tips for a safe trip to southern Florida. Take a look at sports, too. Charles still on the bench, but KJ's back. But the Suns extend their losing streak anyway. We'll uh, have highlights in just a moment. This is one of America's great retirement towns, Green Valley, Arizona. Not just a subdivision, but a real town. Not just one golf course, but five. Green Valley has shopping centers, churches, and lots of friendly neighbors. And from your new Fairfield home, this picture postcard view. Come enjoy life in one of America's great retirement towns, Green Valley, Arizona. See Fairfield's new model homes grand opening now. One way to get great coffee is to select only the best beans, fresh grind them carefully, and drip brew for full flavor. An even better way is to let someone else make it for you. Introducing the new brew at Circle K. Right now, pick up any size coffee and any Sara Lee pastry and get both for just 99 cents. The new brew at Circle K. And all you gotta do is pour it. Yokohama Rice 
School, a fresh idea in fast food. Available to go. Hey, you usually pay a few bucks for a great night out. Try it, change your pace. And this is one of my favorite nights out. For good times, it's the one. It's fast, it's exciting. And one more thing. Sometimes, well, I even make a few bucks. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. This is Daybreak. Welcome back. Almost 10 minutes before 7 o'clock now. In local news today, another drive-by shooting injures another Tucson teenager. Someone shot 17-year-old Richard Lopez in the leg. He is an amphitheater high school student. Officers say Lopez was standing outside the school last night with his girlfriend when the assailant drove by and shot him. Lopez was taken to the hospital, treated, and released. A man instrumental in the advancement of Native Americans has died. Chairman of the Ta'ana Adam tribe, Josiah Moore, died last night. He was suffering from colon cancer. Moore promoted higher education and more jobs on the reservation. Moore was 58 years old. The tribe's vice chairman, Sylvester Listo, will take over as chairman. Let's take a look at sports now. The Phoenix Suns find themselves in the throes of their longest losing streak of the NBA season. Fortunately, it's only three games. Hakeem Olajuwon scored 12 of his 30 points in the fourth quarter last night as the Houston Rockets beat the Suns 111 to 97 up at America West Arena. It was Phoenix's third straight loss. The Rockets have now won 10 in a row. Charles Barkley set that one out. Nice jacket, Charles. But Kevin Johnson is back. He scored 18 points for the Suns, who already have clinched home court advantage throughout the playoffs. Only one other game in the NBA. Seattle held David Robinson to three points in the first three quarters to beat the San Antonio Spurs 96 to 89. The quest for the NHL Stanley Cup continued last night. Steve Eiserman collected a goal and an assist as Detroit cruised past Toronto 6-3. The Red Wings broke the game open in the second period. They put four of their first five shots past Maple Leafs goalie Felix Potvin. The uh, Red Wings hold a one-game-to-none edge in the Norris Division Best of Seven semifinal. Vancouver grabbed a one-game-to-none lead in its Smythe's Division Series, knocking off Winnipeg 4-2. To baseball now, American League limited schedule yesterday. Ken Griffey Jr. had two homers and scored four times as Seattle trounced the Detroit Tigers 10-6. Turnabout, Detroit's been trouncing everybody else. Pete O'Brien had a three-run homer. Tino, Tino Martinez added a solo shot to supplement the Mariners' offense. Eric Hansen won his second game of the year, allowing just three runs in seven and two-thirds innings. Boston shut out the White Sox. John Dobson with a three-hitter. Toronto put it to Cleveland. Only one game on the schedule in the National League yesterday. It didn't get played. It was a cold rain in Chicago. Got rained out. And the Calgary Cannons jumped all over. Tucson right-hander Dave Veras. Actually five unearned runs in the first inning. But they rolled on to a 12-1 win over the Toros up in Canada. In part two of our travel report today, the streets of Miami. It's becoming a danger zone for tourists. Paul Ryan offers some tips for travelers today on how to make a safe trip to Miami. In spite of the coverage that the rash of assaults in Miami is getting, visitors we spoke with, like this German tourist, didn't yeah, seem overly concerned about there. safety. Gangster, gangster is in Europe, uh, is gangster in, in America. You hear the same stories in New York City too, you know? They happen, they happen all over. In an effort to stem the assaults, Miami has beefed up police presence, along with undercover police posing as tourists. And by July 1st, Miami plans 500 well-marked locations, where tourists can get directions, mostly at restaurants and gas stations. Yep, they lost, see? <laughs> you got a lost one right here. Where are you trying to get this? Are you lost? Well, I was just looking. We're trying to get to Miami Beach. But not getting lost is largely a matter of common sense. Police say too many tourists are in too big of a hurry to get to their rental car and get going. If you come to Miami and you rent a car, the best piece of safety advice to follow is know exactly how to get where you are going before you ever leave that car rental lot. All rental car companies will give directions at the counter. The big companies like Hertz have computers providing detailed directions to almost anywhere you want to go in several languages. I've observed a lot of them driving in traffic trying to read road maps. And when they can't understand it, they pull off in the crime area and they become a victim. Clinton Terry is assigned to help tourists in high crime areas around Miami Airport. 
He says if there is a language barrier, he'll escort you to your destination. They want to give you this brochure, has a map inside with a few safety tips. Thank you okay, sir? Much. Enjoy your stay. Right. Officer Terry says his unit makes contact with a thousand tourists a week. Tourists who he believes will not become victims. For Daybreak, Paul Ryan, TV4 Eyewitness News. Time now, six minutes before yeah. the hour. He alluded to the fact that that airport is in a really bad area. Miami, if you ever That's what I understand. Minutes, so that was good advice. Know where you're going before you leave it. Five minutes before, you just said that, didn't you? I won't say it. <laughs> right now, 49 degrees. We'll take a look at the weather in just a second. Are you watching today? TV Guide calls it the all-time best morning show. So tune in and find out what a difference today makes. Yeah. It's so hard to form a lasting relationship with a doctor you can trust. These days, changing jobs or HMOs can mean changing doctors as well. Except for GHMA Medical Centers. We work with many insurance companies. We're just down the street from you with five fully staffed and equipped medical centers, and we're investors in GHMA, so we have every reason to remain your doctor. Ask about us. GHMA Medical Centers, a family of doctors for the whole family. Strawberry dreams are waiting at Coco's. Come on. You can search all over Arizona for a car truck or van. But you have to go to National Car Sales to get a clearance center price. The National Car Sales Clearance Center. Over 200 factory fresh rental returns. All at clearance center prices. 92 Centros, just 88.88. Zero down and 159 a month. Save as much as $3,000. Why pay the high price for a new car? Get a clearance center price. National Car Sales Clearance Center. Craycroft and Oracle at the Auto Mall. Time now, four minutes before the hour. We should actually be thankful we haven't hit 90 degrees. Isn't that a little we late? Haven't. Yeah, we could do it today. It is late. As I mentioned yesterday, there have been three years, though, in recent years, 75, 76, and I, I believe 83, that we didn't hit 90 until the month of May. Wouldn't so that be not, nice? So uh, it's not unheard of. You know the amazing thing, Phoenix hasn't hit 90 yet. Yeah, that surprises yeah, me. Yeah, they'll probably do it. They're expecting 92 today. We're mm -hmm. expecting 89 here in Tucson. 49 in Tucson right now. So we got 40 degrees to go. Can you believe it? Humidity is 40%. Dew point temperature is 26 degrees. Winds right now from the southeast at 6. And the barometer is 30.01 and rising. High in Tucson yesterday was 85 degrees. Our morning low this morning so far has been 49. Still under the dominance of high pressure that's keeping all the storm tracks well the north of us. Another one expected through probably Thursday evening and Friday. It'll drag some uh, clouds and some windy conditions through Arizona at the time. Cooler temperatures down a little bit. We'll probably be close to mid-90s tomorrow, but back down to the mid-80s by the time we head into the weekend. But uh, everything's going to stay to the north of us. There are a few high and mid-level clouds kind of lurking over between Las Vegas and San Diego at this time, moving into northwestern Arizona. They uh, may not even really last that much. They may get pulled up above Arizona. We're looking at sunny skies pretty much statewide today and uh, breezy at times and uh, maybe a little windy along the Colorado River again. Mostly low to mid 80s uh, in Southern California, Las Vegas, low 80s today in sunshine, 80 in El Paso and sunny skies in Albuquerque, about 68 for a high today. Temperature wise, we're running above normal. In Tucson, we're looking for a high today of right around 89. Normal is 83. So sunny and warmer today and then fair and mild tonight with a low of 56 degrees, then even warmer tomorrow. Let's try for 94 tomorrow, 91 on Thursday, but then cooler on Friday and Saturday heading into the weekend. Take a look at what's going on around town for you today. The Tucson Tourism 2000 Conference starts this morning at 8 o'clock. It is a trade show with exhibits and tourism seminars. The conference runs until 6.30 tonight at the Tucson Convention Center. And a, also a workshop for you this morning on taxes. It's called Tucson Taxes 101. That will be held at the main library on North Stone. Also today at noon, University Medical Center is hosting a transplant awareness forum. And that should be very interesting. And tomorrow on daybreak, we'll talk with a woman who's waiting for a transplant. She'll clear up some misconceptions about becoming a donor. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Yeah, looking forward to that information. The Today Show is coming up next. We'll see you back here at 725.
Bon Voyage Travel announces the 1993 Hawaii sale. One week only, April 19th through the 24th, with tremendous savings available only at Bon Voyage. Senior Choice, a major breakthrough in senior health plans, one you can understand. Medicare beneficiaries, find out more about Senior Choice at a free informational meeting. For reservations, call 790-4655. Ocean Spray refreshes juice drinks for adults. The taste is crisp, light. Not too sweet. At last. Try Ocean Spray Refreshers. Not too sweet taste for adults. Get ready for rock solid savings. The huge 50% inventory reduction sale. At your Southern Arizona Chevy Geo dealers, hundreds of new cars and trucks must be sold quickly. Economical Geo Metros as low as $66.95 or get low 5.9 financing. Exciting Geo Storms now come with $1,500 cash back or rock bottom 2.9% financing. Don't miss this sale. 50% reduction only at your Southern Arizona Chevrolet Geo dealers. This is KVOA TV4 Tucson. Good morning. Officials outside of Waco, Texas have begun their search for the bodies of at least 86 cult members. They're believed to have died in the inferno that ended a lengthy standoff with authorities. The fire broke out after the FBI used armored vehicles to bash holes in the compound in hopes of driving the cultists out. Instead, David Koresh and his followers torched the compound, themselves, and at least 24 children. A reaction that's produced many questions but few answers today, Tuesday, April 20th, 1993. From NBC News, this is Today with Bryant Gumbel and Katherine Couric. And good morning. Welcome to Today on a Tuesday morning, a morning after a tragedy of immense proportions down in, in Waco, Texas. I think a lot of the nation uh, remains stunned. You know, I know you were on your big way back from yeah. Los Angeles when it happened, but I have to tell you, it was absolutely horrifying to watch that place go up in flames. The suddenness with which it went down was just stunning. I guess we're gonna try to make some sense of it all this well, morning, if that's possible. <laughs> we got a lot of questions for some uh, very good guests this morning. Uh, David Korsh's attorney is gonna be with us, Dick Daguerre, and also FBI Director William Sessions. We'll talk with the father of one of those who burned in the flames and with a cult member who watched it all from a prison cell. Okay. Right, meanwhile, the standoff in Lucasville